Hey, hello and welcome, you guys. We finally made it for the shop walkthrough. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Lynn from L&J Goods. Megan's holding the camera. Oh no. Yeah, that might happen because we're live streaming. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's exactly right. But we can, um, we can, we'll just have to, if you have any questions or if there's anything that you see that is not linked on the website, um, you can uh, reach out to Megan, info at ellenjgoods.com, and she can help you with whatever you see. Take a screenshot, whatever. But uh, we do this every year, and, um, and it's a way for us to kind of share how we've decorated the shop and show you some of the special projects, products that we have curated. I do, we will be bringing out some more things that are even more special than what you see here today, ones that are crafted with my own little hands. And so um, I'm excited about that. But you're watching on our website or Facebook or YouTube. We would love it if you would join us there. Um, since Megan can't see the comments, we're going to skip past all the hellos. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone that's here. <laughs> I did link to the holiday favorites collection in the description on YouTube and Facebook. Or if you're watching on our website, it's to the right of the video you're watching. On the, it's the collection right on the homepage of our website too. Mm -hmm. So welcome to the uh, the front corner with that uh, is just all um, our King of Christmas pink flock tree, which I did in a totally different look this year. Um, instead of going with that retro look, I did it, I don't know what you say, Victorian? Maybe. Maybe, but um, we have some Romantic. of- Romantic. Yeah, we have some of those beautiful faded fall peonies up there. Um, these bird cages are super cool. Those are on the website and they open up so that you can stage them, put whatever you want in there. You don't have to put them on a tree, of course. You could also put them on a pedestal, put them um, on a little, you know, an old uh, capital uh, base or a chippy white um, uh, riser of some kind. Um, I'm going to point out a few of my other favorites. These are just so pretty. I love these and I love the geometric look of them. There's a whole set of four different of these golden woodland ornaments. There's a fox. I think there's a bird. Here's a bird. Um, she has a crown. Um, there's there's four different ones, and, and these ornaments you made. Right? I made all of these. How these did were you do that? these were actually on a reel last year. These are on a little two by two square, and I just found every angel picture that I could find. Actually, it was a Roy cycled angels from last year. These are another of my favorites. And then you crackled them, right? I did crackle them. Mm -hmm. Yep. So let me show you another of my favorites. And honestly, I would have these like all the time. If you wanted just one, like it would be so pretty, like hung in a wreath. But there are two different um, of these golden doves. And I just love them. I don't know. I, I chose a lot of gold this year, Megan. That one, the second one, I know you would like sure mm -hmm. yep should we have libby get our laptop so we can move it along with the, oh you can't no because you wouldn't be able to yep yeah this um this is a really pretty we've been having a lot of fun with these this is a real pretty little garland um and you can break these up you could nestle this again uh, just on a boxwood wreath or a rustic vine wreath. We've got some of those still that left over from the fall, which carried right into. Um, so now with your hands a little bit. Sorry. Maybe if you want to put it against that dresser. So you can see sure. It. Sorry. That's okay. But it's just, it's so pretty. It's brass and glass beads and just these pretty little um, wired. I love it. It really is so pretty and delicate. I mean, you could nestle it even with this one garland and 
So simple and so pretty. Very much so. Uh, what else on this tree? I don't know that there's anything else on this tree. What about these little bursts of flowers, the white flowers? Oh, the bursts of white flowers. Uh, we don't have those on the site, but these are a painted, or yes, we do. Actually, I think we do, but I think they're in the fall collection for whatever reason. Okay, remember, you can also just email me yeah. anything that yep. you see. Just email me. What about those down there? Those are pretty. Oh, yeah. These are these are the little pink and um, ivory glass garlands. Very pretty. Should we have Libby open up? And then she can read any comments to us? Sure, but I would have to put this down to set her up. Oh, that. gosh. Okay. All righty. All right. We've got some beautiful tinsel trees. My very favorite ornament of the year just arrived. These are beautiful princess swan ornament. Totally in swans this year. Well, I have been for a while, but. Beautiful. I do love them. Uh, let's see. This is a special piece. I think we have six left and that's all we can get. Can you see that okay? Mm -hmm. And it's kind of an oval shape. And this is, these are heavier brass. Well, I don't know that I would. You might be able to um, bend these out a little bit, but those are really pretty, just brass and berries. And let me see. Oh, how about this? You guys, I'm working on the edited video right now, but that was the big masterpiece that I wanted for this front corner. It's so pretty. Isn't that beautiful? Really, really pretty. I'm sorry, we can't interact with you. The mantle, that gorgeous chippy mantle, left the building this morning. It is uh, headed to a new home. Um, didn't stay here for very long. No. <laughs> Matter of a couple days. I so, think only one day open. Yeah, I click. I quickly reset all of this. But um, I these are a favorite for me this year. Total glitz and glam, but yet rustic too, because that grapevine is going on in there. That would even look awesome just with some pine boughs, kind yeah. of tucked behind it and around it. Um, really really pretty oh look at these these chubby fat quails <laughs> so cute so so cute i'll also make sure that i'm on right when we're done here so i can answer anyone's these are questions. beautiful these are um also um just message us we don't have these on the website we only have two of them and um they're extremely special okay Beautiful. Lots and lots of greenery. Lots and lots of of that kind of good stuff. Right? And our holiday candles. There's Libby over there. <laughs> She's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I will scoot this way. Again, I kept it like I wanted some of these really important basics that not only are great for the, the holiday season, but for year round. This is probably one of my favorite faux boxwood wreaths ever. It's got that real touch feel to it, and um, it's really nice and full, and it's so yummy. It's so, so good. Um, you can do a million and one things with these. In fact, we probably should demo that. Yeah. What to do with a wreath, right? Great idea. Okay. Um, and this is like a faux cedar wreath. Same thing. I mean, they're just awesome. And they're really dense. Very, very densely packed. I got to tell you, the hot thing this year for me is this star garland. Oh, my goodness. I think it's like 72 inches long. But all these wired stars on here... And it just goes, it's just like perfectly randomly, like crazy with stars. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I guess we'll pop over this way. Of course, if you're local, um, we just got a new flock of metal birds in. You don't have to be local. You don't have to be local. You can no, just you're email right. me. Yeah. 
but um, these are always a gifting favorite, and we have been a proud retailer of metal birds uh, since they came to the U.S. A Actually, couple of years I don't ago. know why we don't have these on the website. They're perfect to ship the way they come. Well, and we could do that. Yes, yeah, we will but they're do that. great, great gifts. Um, our little, you know, soaps and goodies. Um, this is our scented room spray of the season by Dot and Lil. These are on the website and it's called Fresh Fur. Can you turn it towards the camera? So good. So, so good. And also to go along with that, we do have the bar soap. And I'm telling you, it's so good. It smells so good. Oh, love it. Love it. Love it. Okay, we got our balsam cedar um, collection. I don't know, is that on the website? We better check. We better check. The balsam cedar by Illum, um, the, they're just always a favorite. The um, room, the, what are they called with the sticks? Diffuser. <laughs> the diffusers, yes. <laughs> okay, over here we have, um, We'll be put, setting up all of our Christmas candy display. We've got a few little holiday pillows. Um, some beautiful, this is an original winter oil painting. Original in the antique frame. That is one that I created in an antique frame. I didn't paint it. It's a 1600s Dutch artist. But uh, this little fireplace mantle is fantastic. JR actually built that all out of this wide, 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 um, like architectural salvage trim. Okay, more of these glittery, pretty glittery garlands. We have our sugar boo section, which is getting restocked almost every day. My ironstone collection here. Um, Slowly turning to sugar boo. Trying yes, not to make any sharp I movements. It. I know. I know. We just got these. These are the shorter, the smaller canvases. These have been really popular. I don't have these on the website, but by all means, let us know if you're interested. These are great versus the, the ones that are double the size. Mm -hmm. We've shipped those out for you guys too, but these are fantastic. Yep. And there's a few different styles of those, but I love the Night Before Christmas one. It's so good. So good. And then we have the handmade paper. Um, same thing, Night Before Christmas, True Spirit of Christmas, the journals, the all the goodies. All the goodies. Okay, how about over here with our flocked um, king of Christmas tree, the, the flocked uh, fur? I Maybe think. I should come from the front so we can see the deer. And um, by the way, we are an affiliate. On our website, we do have a link to um, to uh, the King of Christmas website so that if you purchase through them, we get a very, very, very small commission. But they have a great um, sale going on right now. And I think this is our... One, two, three, fourth king of Christmas tree. I have two at my house. <laughs> yes. Look at these deer. Oh, these metal deer. I don't think we can ship these, but look how incredible these are. I've got to show you this. I would hang a wreath around this guy's neck. These come out. I'd put a wreath around that guy's neck and I'd, I'd hang, I'd dangle a couple of Christmas balls or I'd perch uh, a little, um, I'd perch a little, a little bird on his antler. Cute. Right? <laughs> and um, these are... These are these metal orbs. And again, I tried to be mindful of those things that you could use, not only at Christmas time, but just to hang um, year round. But they're metal and rusty and just so beautifully distressed. We have, um, yeah, those are cool. These, these flocked artichokes. 
just makes a really pretty collection. The cardinals, cardinals and the bluebirds. And then we have, I think this is probably one of my favorite, favorite little vignettes of all is right here. And um, I just wanted to make it really snowy and wintry, but um, well, somebody just bought one of these stockings. That's the I, second time I've refilled it today. But um, we have these snow bunnies that we just glittered them all by hand and gave them a puffy tail and a silk bow tie. But they're so sweet. So, so sweet. Look, this one I popped under a cloche. Like, how, how beautiful is that? I love those white trees too. The white trees, white trees are here, there, and they're so good. We do have the nurse, the faux narcissus, and I think I, we didn't get to these on the site yet, but um, these are like a real touch. They're really nice. They're beautiful. And next year, I really want to try forcing my own. Yeah. Mm hmm. I do. But these are gorgeous with the beautiful, um, just that root, all the roots and. So forth. There's only two of these left. And I love this chubby white felted um, wreath. Another gorgeous winter oil painting over here. You just message us if that's something you're interested in. Megan mentioned these, which are, they are neat. And I think they come in two sizes, Two sizes. Right? Two the sizes. Size smaller. We have the amaryllis bulbs, the faux ones, these awesome, like, ceramic, textured, chunky, heavy Christmas trees. They have a cool look to them, too. All right. Oh, and the pussy willows. Those are uh, Oh, yeah, light. the pussy willow lights. Oh, <gasps> God. So, so neat. Oh, I feel so sad that we can't see anybody. And if we flip around, we have um, some beautiful mercury glass. These would require some special shipping if, but look at these trees. They're so pretty. They're really, really pretty. And, oh. Speaking of bunnies, look at that butter dish. <laughs> Cute. I feel like I'd need to go like this. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. And let's see. Again, these beautiful tinsel trees. No, these are not tinsel trees that I transformed. These are ones that came just like this, but they, they come in three different sizes. Okay. And just some little minis. This, these are, people are picking these up by the handfuls and this tree is almost empty. But I love that um, bird garland. Oh, the bar bird garland. Oh my goodness. Yes. I'm gonna pull this out so you can kind of see. Isn't that the coolest thing? It's just all of these floating, flying birds. And you can twist them and turn them any way you want, but I I really love this. That bird garland. Again, doesn't have to just be for Christmas. Nope. Get that guy back up there. All right. I've been putting together these, these pedestals with... Um, you know, just these chunky, chunky pedestals that are all cracked and chippy. Putting these together, just popping a cloche on top and some ornaments underneath. Actually, I have one in the back that I did the other day. I just was like, you know, I need, I want to do something different. And I put a little vintage pink um, putts house in it and a tree and little uh, snow mounds. And it's so pretty. Cute. Yeah. yeah. Tiny that. little vintage ornaments. Yeah. It's cute. I'll, I'll do a picture of it but it's, uh, it's adorable. Okay, let's come this way and down the center aisle, we got a few of our Cody Foster 
um, houses. Glitter houses. Glitter houses. Yep. And let's see. Oh, by the way, the newest Jean d'Arc Living is arriving today. It's the last issue of the year and it's the Christmas issue, just so you know. And I'll tell you what, from the pictures that I've seen of the contents, it looks amazing. But we just did a Christmas issue, Well, right? that's a special holiday edition okay. that they do once a year, but this is just part of their regular. This is just their seasonal. Yeah, their regular one. Mm -hmm. um, we have squirrels. We have our sugar boo mugs. We have these sets of little votives. And, okay, so has anybody heard of the, oh, what was it, the viral um, home goods candle or something? It's in, like, a glass dish, and then it just has, like, this little forest. It's a candle, like a white candle, with this little forest of candle trees in it, like, kind of in the candle itself. It's so cute, and it's like, hey, these would work for that. I'm gonna try it. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Cute little, these cute little guys. Oh, and oh my gosh. Like, I just think these are the sweetest things. It's a vase. So he's a vase too. And he's a vase too, the Santa. And so you can put either fresh or put a little faux sprig in there. Like, how cute is that? Like, you could even do, um, you know, you could pop some of our the little candy canes in there. But I think he's adorable. He is. These little sets of salt and peppers. And they come as a Santa and a snowman. Another, what is it about birds? And I just love the colors of this. This is a full on, just a ceramic bird, but the colors are so soft and muted. Really pretty. And more, just more Christmas. Oh, come on. Darling. Darling. Yes, it is, darling. Mm-hmm. Got the return of some of our candle gardens. Um, these are fun to just scatter on like a big wood slice, and you know it's, it's just got like a little votive, yeah, a little votive cup there. But it's really fun to kind of arrange them and, and do that. And then as we come over here, uh, look at this. Oh. We just filled this beautiful, this is so neat. Like the top pops off of it. It's a big, crusty wire um, holder. But again, it's it's seasonless, I guess, right. is what I want to say. We have we have shown people how to stage this um, with the Luminara um, like pine cone candle in there. Um, you could put a big bird's nest and lots of moss and greens for springtime. Um, you can fill it full of like tulips coming out of the top, like faux tulips for, for spring and summer. Um, but we kept it simple and just threw some golden bulbs in there. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you, Megan. It's been a lot of hard work this week, hasn't yeah. it? <laughs> and poor Henry is sick. Our candle collection. We do have some wonderful balsam and fir candles coming. They're in a hobnail. They're, yeah, they're on the way. Um, and can't wait to start burning those because the shop then smells just like Christmas. This is a pretty table runner too. Oh yeah, yeah. Very simple, but so pretty. It's just got Merry Christmas embroidered on each end. Love it. So cute. So, so cute. And then into this bright and shiny corner. My favorite. World. This is my this favorite. This is your favorite. Section, yes. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> and um, I, I don't know what to say. It's just like, it is red and colorful and bright and shiny and it's just amazing. Look at this 
awesome wreath or candle ring holder. Oh, wow. I haven't really looked at that, but I love the big, giant, oversized rose hips on it. These are adorable. You'll see these on the website, but, but it has the little pull on it and his little legs dance. And there's two different. Yeah, one with a gold a little... bell, one with a green. Mm -hmm. But they're really cute. All um, of these dears. I know. They're so precious. Look. Oh, my gosh. So cute. Just full of glitter and glamour and lots of different garlands. Mm -hmm. Lots of different garlands. These sets of chenille candy canes. They're $24.95 and you get 12 of them. I like these. These are great. Just too. hanging on a tree. Yep. No They're more real so candy canes on my tree. No? No. <laughs> no, not now that I have those. Um, I like this. Oh, we have uh, Grayson Buckley, our our iron set of deer. So cute. These I put on this morning. Um, this is just a little Santa um, bag. So instead of a stocking, or you can stuff, you know, greens in this. Really cute. Yeah, that is cute. So cute. Um, How about this guy? Look at that guy. He is old. He is vintage and old. You can you don't message say. <laughs> if you are interested. I was so excited to find him this year um, when we were out picking. Um, these are just fun little, they're kind of a puffy little metal ornament. I have loads of these. These are the vintage um, little Santa mugs, and these are $24.99 each. We will, if you're interested, we would pick one of those for you, but we got a tree full of them. They're so cute. I love these things. Look at this guy. Oh, look at his little face. Yeah, he looks just like that guy up there. Yep, He's look cute. at his little face. This is pretty. It's a, just a pretty um, bottle brush tree under a wire dome. Really simple. Cute, really cute. cute. Mm -hmm. I love the way that mug looks with the tree, the tree in it. Did you do that? No, I did not. not no, but this is in two styles. This is not new. This is not old. Sorry. Uh, this is a reproduction, but um, you could easily take one of these and pop a vintage um a, a vintage tree in it, tree in so it. Mm -hmm. but um so it comes with in the deer and in the santa cute. they're fun those are cute grandkid kind of kind of uh gifts right or yes all right um oh i mean that's this my favorite everybody's favorite is this bow it matches garland. my outfit it does <laughs> And I don't even remember us ordering this. I probably or getting this. In. You probably did. I probably said I'll use all six of them. <laughs> and I would. But, but it's so cute. I mean, just to hang. Uh seventy four ninety five. I mean, that is so cute. I love it. Cute. Yes. Uh, we have our striped tapers in the Christmas colors. Look at this piece, you guys. Just look at this. Are any of you into smashing broken, yeah, vintage ornaments? Yeah. But if you if you're a paper lover, I mean, look at all the papers that you could organize and put in here. Oh my gosh. Let me sweep that aside. Clean that up later. <laughs> I hope we got lots of folks watching. I'm sure we do. Um, now we're moving a little bit back in time into fall. Almost, back in right? Time. Yes, a little back in time. I love and that pillow. It's so cute. A little bit of blue going on. Look at the snowflake below. And again, I just arranged, I'm created like the wreaths that we have here, you guys, like these are, these are really nice, nice quality. 
really nice. I mean like lifetime briefs, okay? But if you had a little blue corner going on, I mean, I just put a little vintage um, glitter house, just popped it in that wreath. And these made a comeback from last year. Love it. Look at this. Look at that lamp. Oh, so gorgeous. Okay, our Luminara is uh, up and at them. People have been calling to order these, mm -hmm. <laughs> and we've been shipping them as well, but they're just the best. They're literally the best flame of scandal. Best in the there biz. Is. There really are. And I tried to get more of these. Can't. So what we have is what we have. They're sold company. out with the company. But I love them together. They're, they're so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And I love that um, pine cone. The pine cone is gorgeous. Yep. Look at these chubby little friends. <laughs> they look like they look like pine cones. Yes, they do. Look at their little leaves and their backs and bodies. It's all pine cones. Oh. <laughs> really nice. Um, yeah, we still have a, we have a nod to fall here still, but this weekend, this is down. I tried to keep a little bit here. Well, it's still almost Thanksgiving. Aren't these beautiful? I love these. And these, um, these can be used Christmas or yeah, fall. Yeah, those are really pretty. I love these sets of napkins. And look, they're $27.95 for a set of four. Beautiful. Does anybody use cloth napkins anymore? Do you use them at your house, Megan? I do. Wonderful. I do, and I have for a long time. Yeah, they're really, they're so fun. I love the turkey. We do have a few of the Luminara candle, or pumpkin candles left. Oh my gosh. I might have to take one of these home. My battery's dead. <laughs> And the fall tree is still here, um, but we, um, I just added more ornaments to it. Like, look, and I added the owls. I put all of the barn owls in here. I added some little silk uh, butterflies. Oh, that's so pretty. Mom. Aren't they cute? But I we have these that. little woodland, um, these are glass, with the little owl under one, and then we have the deer under the oh other. Goodness. We do have some of the some of these left too. I think they might be under fall. I'm not sure. So cute. Yeah. But this this is a really cute tree. Really, really cute. But yeah, after this weekend, all of this is gone. If you need some velvet ribbon, um, I, we should add these to the site because I love this. And then as I unwound it. I realize, you know how I wanted to make one of those Tim Holtz spool? Mm. There's the wooden Perfect. spool right there, and it would create a little mini one. And Perfect. so I'm just dying. I have an ivory one that I use for myself, but this comes in um, a lot of great colors. I love how those, oh, that's a different twig light right here. Uh, yeah, that's another, nope, that's another mini. Nope, that's another the mini twigs. I love how that looks in there. We have some beautiful glittered. Oh, look at this. Look at this string. Oh my gosh. Look at these spools of string. But they're all different. We have glittered baker twine. These spools. I'm telling you, I am going to do a little journal, a spool journal on, on one of these, Megan. Good. But here it is. We have the yellow. Um, red velvet ribbon oh so many pretty things what i gotta say man i really dig in this oh, that's really pretty so pretty okay um gosh i think we're nearing oh we gotta restock our our holiday ornaments or earrings yep the jewelry mm-hmm Lots of Christmas earrings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so fun. All right. 
I think, um, again, oh, vintage tinsel garland. Very pretty. So good. Mm -hmm. And, um, again, our, our other display, which is more, it's not really seasonal, but, but it does have a lot of wonderful old Crocs and, and, um, just fun, fun little, uh, pieces of this and that. Do you like my shirt, by the way? I do. It's lovely. Yep. I just, um, I just put these on the website, too. Hmm. Nice oversized. Love it. So, yeah. This is, uh, this is it, you guys. I hope that, um, you've enjoyed it. Oh, 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 oh. I forgot about these. Woodland. Sorry, Look. I don't want to make anyone dizzy. Look at this. <sighs> totally winter. Yes. Winter. Both of these can be winter. Um, here's a companion pillow. One side, the other side. Lovely. Isn't that great? And we've got a few. Uh, this is kind of a, a cool. I love that one. It's almost like a rug, but it's yeah. cotton and it's squishy and soft and wonderful. So we have that and we have this one which i think is just so cute too so cute so cute so so cute and of course everything you need to make your own christmas stuff yes absolutely, absolutely. which you all know i'm gonna just grab that little pink cloche do you want me to stay here sure But I have this whole vignette here on a wonderful chippy base with oh, a little pale pink putz house, some little vintage ornaments, the little vintage. These are uh, actually vintage millinery flowers. But yeah, there it is. How sweet is that? Beautiful. It's so cute. You could put some little um, Tim Holtz tiny lights in there. And I just wrapped it up with a French linen sheet, like a raggedy bow here. But I just think that's so, so, so cute. Love it. Yeah. So I think that that is going to do it. Um... So you guys... There's a bunch of stuff in the collection that I linked in the description on YouTube and Facebook. It's also on the homepage of our website. But if there's things, which there, I know there are many, I don't, not even close to half of these things are listed on the site. You can message me, email, you can say something in the comments and I'll respond to you there. The best way is the contact form on our website or to to email me info at ellenjgoods.com and I will help you. Yeah. And thank you, you guys. Thanks so much for your hanging out with us. Really? Look at that. And the flowers. <gasps> Love it. Love the sky. And our little beautiful, what do we call her? She has a name. I, I gave her a name. Yes. <laughs> But there it is. All right. Well, thank you for hanging out with us, you guys. We will see you on Monday. And um, we'll see what we have up our sleeve for Monday as far as creating. And uh, thanks for hanging out with us. I hope you enjoyed the shop tour. And, uh, yeah, let us know if you have any questions. But I'll hop on now and check.